Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with construction planning and scheduling in the topic of PERT that is Program Evaluation Review Technique. So the problem is the following table shows the activity relationship of 8 project activities and its optimistic, pessimistic and most likely time estimate is given. Okay, so now the activities are 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 2 to 4, then 2 to 5, 4 to 6, 5 to 6, 3 to 7 and 6 to 7 then 7 to 8. Okay, corresponding optimistic time then most likely time then pessimistic time also given. So the optimistic time means uh, the every activity is uh, going very well as per plan and then most likely time is the average time and pessimistic time uh, so we plan uh, plan for the activity uh, is two days but some unavoidable situation circumstances so it will take eight days okay so whenever we plan everything so the plan will be collapsed so the activity will be completed uh, for uh, unplanned time that is uh, so the activity take large time to complete so that is the pessimistic time okay so now we have to find out the uh, estimated time so that is te so we know the formula for te equal to to plus 4 tm plus tp divided by 6 okay so that is uh, optimistic time then most likely then pessimistic time so first thing uh, so for activity 1 to 2 so 1 to 2 we can uh, calculate the te value that is estimated time so uh, in the per project so there is three time estimate so we can convert into single time estimate that is uh, uh, estimate the average of those things uh, then we can uh, draw the network path okay so now we can take uh, to is 2 plus 4 into tm value is 5 again plus uh, tp value is 8 divided by 6 okay solving this we got the value of uh, te is 5 okay so uh, 10 then 20 so 30 divided by 6 is 5 so that is te for first activity the 1 to 2 is 5 so likewise we can calculate all those things so now we can take uh, for 1 to 2 is 5 so then 2 to 3 activity is 12 so then uh, there is a zero value so there is a dummy activity so uh, t also 0 then 2 to 4 is 8 then 2 to 5 is 10 so then 4 to 6 is also 10 then 5 to 6 is 8 then uh, 3 to 7 is 6 then 6 to 7 is 4 then 7 to 8 also 4 okay so now we can draw the network path then find out the critical duration and critical path so now we draw the critical path so first activity is 1 to 2 so we can draw 1 2 2 okay so next thing is 2 to 3 so 2 to 3 we can draw like this 2 to 3 so this 3 activity so 1 to 2 is 5 days then 2 to is 12 days okay so next thing is uh, 3 to 4 is dummy activity uh, so we can draw later so then uh, 2 to 4 is the so 2 to 4 uh, we can draw like this so 2 to 4 so 2 to 4 value is 8 okay so now we can draw the 3 to 4 so it's a dummy activity so we can draw the dotted line okay so the activity also the duration also zero so then is uh, 2 to 4 after that uh, 2 to 5 okay so 2 to 5 we can draw like this so 2 to 5 uh, so 2 to 5 is uh, duration is 10 so next thing is uh, uh, 4 to 6 okay so 4 to 6 we can draw like this So 4 to 6, uh, uh, the activity duration is 10. So then is uh, 5 to 6, okay. So 5 to 6 activity. So 5 to 6, the activity duration is 8. So then 3 to 7, okay. So now we can uh, draw the 3 to 7. So before that we can draw the 6 to 7. So 6 to 7, the 6 to 7 is 4. So then uh, 3 to 7 we have to draw like this. So 3 to 7 the activity duration is 6. 
so the next thing is 7 to 8 okay so now we can draw 7 to 8 so the duration is 4 so now we have to find out the different path from this network diagram after that we can find out the maximum duration that is critical duration okay so now we can take the path 1 2 3 7 8 okay so 1 2 3 7 8 okay 1 2 3 7 8 so the corresponding duration 5 plus 12 plus 6 plus 4 okay so the sum value is 21 okay next thing is 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 okay 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 okay 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 so that is 5 plus 12 plus 0 plus 10 plus 4 plus 4 the total value is 35 okay so 5 plus 12 plus 0 plus 10 plus 4 plus 4 okay so next value is 1 2 4 6 7 8 okay 1 2 4 6 7 8 okay so the value will be 5 plus 8 plus 10 plus 4 plus 4 so the total value is 31 okay so next thing is 1 2 5 6 7 8 1 2 5 6 7 8 so the corresponding value 5 plus 10 plus 8 plus 4 that is so the value is 31 okay so here the highest value is 35 then uh, this corresponding path is uh, 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 okay so this is the critical path and this is the critical duration that is a project duration okay so now we can draw that uh, double line so 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 3 to 4 then 4 to 6 then 6 to 7 then 7 to 8 okay so this is the method we can solve the per problem again we'll see next video thank you